Oh god, that's not it either. There we go. Hi. What did you do? We all know each other, by the way. Hi, um, stream. Fucked everything over. Sobo's kind of this guy who comes and goes. So was an asshole. Kind of this guy. Yeah, pretty much. Oh god, guys, I don't. I, I think I don't have my stream muted on my. No, I do. Never mind. It's not even online yet. Yeah. It is. No, it's not. Um, nope. Uh, why is it not online yet? I don't know. OBS tells me I'm streaming. OBS is last second. You sure you're not preview? Oh, now it's going live. Is it? Oh my god, that's like a 40 right. second and delay. One thing you guys might want to do for the stream is open up Google Maps and turn it to uh, right. I got a satellite or map. Okay. Just is because it really... the... the I can't actually get a big enough map to show DJ. By the way, I'll, I'll have you know that my goal is is to get us to the island that I lived on for a couple of years. I like it. Oh, Your goal is to get us to a <laughs> shitty bump of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, guys, we're going. We're going to Phoenix. Why okay. would we go to Phoenix? That's hell on earth. Exactly. So in hell on earth, literally, it's going to be paradise, bitch. That's basic logic. That's Pay attention. How this works? I don't think that would still be a thing. That's a thing. I know. Is, is the stream live, by the way? Can yeah. Yeah, it is. Because it's like, it's still showing offline on my end. Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> so fucking fucked. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you, stream. Except for those of you that are watching the stream or watching on YouTube wondering what the fuck we're doing. We're going to play some game with Ezrinian. He, he told me, hey, I have a campaign for you and one other person, so now we're all playing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ass minion. Yeah. Yeah. This was supposed to be like a, you know, once every once in a while, me and Ezrinian play a game with like one other person. It's kind of fun. Now it's a show. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> this is not my fault. So, Ezrinian. So, Ezrinian. <laughs> introduce Have us. Have we already now. introduced YouTube to this, or do I need to go over it? We introduced, they saw the character creation video, but you can give us a brief overview just in case, you know, someone didn't watch it. All right. Basically... What happened was Earth was invaded by the planes. Uh, if you don't know what they are, it's like fire, water, earth, uh, air. Those are the elemental planes. Uh, all the inner planes, or the physical planes as they're called, were the ones that invaded, not the outers, which are considered the ph philosophical ones uh, and like the homes to the gods. The, the physical planes are like home to where you would consider demons. Um, and they... They all were like, yo, let's go invade Earth. If, it's, uh, if you know what the game Darksiders is, it was a lot like that. And at first, the humans were winning. Uh, at the time, it's about 300 years in the future of present day. Present day. Uh, humans have ridiculous technology that just like destroys the demons in droves. Um, but unfortunately... Human humanity is betrayed by one of their greatest generals. Uh, his name was Sheath, and he takes the Book of Creation and he trades it to the Lord of the Magma Realm for power and immortality. Uh, and with the Book of Creation, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. He un he undoes all of human history. Uh, not all of it. He undoes the creation of most of their technologies, most of their powerful weapons, which they're using to defeat the humans. And without this, humanity crumbles within like one or two years. The entire world is basically taken over. The only reason that the campaign is as it is now is because Sheath made in part of his deal with the Magma Lord that there must always be one bastion of humanity left on Earth. And that is Rowan, uh, a small academy or school, which has turned into a, uh, a rather large city. It is the only place that humans uh, are known to be able to safely congregate. And that's where we start off. Would you all like off? to introduce your characters? Kitty, why don't you introduce us? Um, I play a, I play a fighter, a female fighter. Her name is um, Nanette, Nanette Lucrezia, and um, she would prefer it if you guys just called her Nine. I don't think and would ever call her otherwise. Great, that was the goal. And um, name all the time. <laughs> Twenty-four 
for sevens disappoints. <laughs> and um, she has a a mark on her neck, uh, which also conveniently looks like a nine. So there's also that. She also uses a scythe as a weapon, and that looks like a seven. Just she's, she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, female. I said that was like one of the first things I said. I thought you said he. My bad. And um, go Sebo. <laughs> are we just gonna bit. go around the table and introduce our characters? Or are we gonna like uh, yeah. be somewhere? Okay. We're just gonna do the character introduction before we get into where you guys are. Okay. I'm playing a uh, gunslinger archetype, while well, two different archetypes mixed into one. Um, I have, which means I have two pistols at level one. Um, I'm just a guy that kills demons. That's that's pretty much it. I, I'm I'm just a guy. I go around and when there's demons to be killed, they they call me. I'm kind of known around the city a little bit as as somebody who does that sort of thing, and that's pretty much it, man. It's okay. All right. Yep. I play a human fighter as well. Um, his name is just Jorn, J-O-R-N. Uh, I came from Texas. I uh, didn't like the oppression there. Um, hey, living in Texas. under Perseus. No, it, 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 nothing against Texas itself. I love living there. It's kind of living under Perseus was a was a bitch. Uh, so I came down to Rowan, um, hearing about the work available there and things. So I joined up. Um, I use sword and shield and occasionally a long bow that I can't hit jack shit with, but I do have one. And uh, pretty short, about 5'5", five, five, 132, so short and light. Um, really short cropped hair. That's about all I got going, physical description-wise. Okay. Last but not least. Yeah. My character is named Zephyrus. He is an elf. He's 5'8", 155 pounds. He's got uh, green-colored eyes and blonde hair. Um, <sighs> Class-wise, he is a magus. Um, what else did you guys need to know about him? Not much. That's good. Okay. Just wanted to get a journal. <laughs> Hecatus, yeah. I need you to I need you to turn your microphone closer to your grill. Out of boy. Is it quiet? It was it was it yeah. sounded far you away. S- you sound like you're across the room. Perfect. Now you're fine. It's Is just that better. Yeah. For some reason, like half inch movement made a thousand like <laughs> okay. is way better. All right, we're gonna start off then. Um, welcome to the local bar. The hog's butt. Thanks. Like usual. My favorite. Names are my like, favorite watering. Yeah. The hog's butt. Exactly. Great name. Uh, you guys are all sitting around. You just came back from a successful scouting mission uh, out to the uh, west. You were sent out to check a little town. Uh, it, it turns out there was a, a family there. You guys brought them back safely with uh, no bumps in the roads. How long have we Uh-oh. been working together? About four months. Hecatus, that's about as long as you've been here. Okay. Kitty's been here her whole life. Kitty died. GG Kitty already. Goodbye. <laughs> yep. No, my webcam decided it was going to get really, really blurry. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll have her new there character creation next week. Yeah, she's already <laughs> dead. <laughs> Okay, was I on this mission with them? Yes, you were. So I'm in town right now? You're with them at the bar. Dope. Uh, the barkeep uh, bought you guys your first round of whatever you guys want. I don't know if you drink alcohol. Yeah. Nice. He, he basically yeah. got you the, your first round. What are, what are they serving? Uh, beer, ale, whatever no, you want, really. Nothing hard? They've got wine, sweet. but... Nothing hard? No liquor? Uh, they've got some liquor. It, it, that you have to pay for if you want it. He buy he'll buy you the the cheap stuff. He'll give you the cheap stuff, but they don't have any cheap whiskey. So you just want to get drunk. Sure. I mean, I, I just, oh my god, just looking for a <laughs> shot. That's all. Who doesn't? All right, he pours you a I'll shot have, to go with your uh, to go with your mug of ale. Gracias. I'll have wine. His name's Tim, by the way. Gracias, Tim. Tim. It's rather Ready. short, man. Do they just call him? Barely see Tim? his head. Some people call him Timothy. Perfect. Uh oh, my internet's going to hell. No, wait Don't, do it. Don't do it. Looks fine on our end. I'm just trying to fix it. Sure. 
Um, what are you guys doing? It's about, it's not, it's not at night by any means. It's only like five o'clock. You guys just came to the bar to get a nice drink. Kind of like a reward. I'm, I'm probably getting ready to, what time is it? Five. It's like five. It's like five. Do I have a room here? You do, but you don't often use it. Okay, cool. Well, then I'm just fucking hanging out in the bar getting drunk. All right. Uh, any of the party members wish to do anything specific? Um, no. I'd probably finish my drink, you know, at a decent rate and then just get up and leave if I can. Okay. Like, he doesn't like hanging around too much anyway. Okay. Uh, Hecatus, does, what did you do with your thing? Did you uh, end up putting it in a bottle? I just have it in the bag right now. Like It's probably tucked into my bedroll somewhere. You guys hear weird noises coming from his bag. They sound like... Okay. Is this a normal right. thing? Uh, over four months, it probably... Yeah, I'm be assuming fun. over the past four months of yeah, occasionally working together. Yeah, I've gotten to know him. I'm probably aware. Okay with it. Yeah. Like you, you've never seen it, but you, you can you can pretty much assume it's the ward. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he just keeps it in his bag. <laughs> yeah, unless unless disturbed, I'm just gonna sit at the bar and just drink for the night. Okay. Um. I so heck it is. How long? People. How long before you head out? Uh, how fast can I drink hot tea? <laughs> hmm. Very fast, maybe like <laughs> ten minutes if you wanted to, really. Okay, I'll take like 15 and, you know, not stray too long. Okay. So heck it is. It's pretty routine out. for me. They know what I'm doing, going back to my apartment. Um, so this uh, this drinking goes on for a while, I assume. Sobo. Yeah, yeah, until like... Well, probably not too late, actually. Probably like an hour after sunset or so. Okay, I, so I would around get like up 8 and just go to bed. Yeah, I'd it's, probably uh, go and head to bed. Winter, it's it's about late spring right now. Okay. By the way, for seasons. Okay. Nice. So I don't have to wear long sleeves. So it's piss awful hot, is what you're telling me. Oh. I'm like humid as yeah. fuck. You forget where we are, kitty. Yeah, it's awful. Right oh, here. right. That's where we are. Yeah. Cool. We're not in Jersey spring. It, yeah. This is Rowan spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, it's awful. It's real hot. It's really so muggy. this would be like roughly Galveston-ish, I guess? Almost. Like somewhere around there, yeah. Probably farther uh, actually, south. I have a no, way farther south, area. actually, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little it's, farther south, but I'm saying it's, it's equally humid. On, it's yeah, basically yeah. on the Mexican and United States border. So it's, it's like... basically like right there. It's like Kind Tucson? of like Mazatlan-ish, or... It's uh, to the east of Matamoros. What the fuck is Matamoros? It's a city in Mexico. Let's go check that place out. Are you sure? Because I'm within like a hundred miles of Mexico, and I've never fucking heard of Madam. Whatever. We're gonna we're just gonna head west until I bump into a city that I recognize. That's the fucking plan, anyways. So yeah, yeah I mean, around eight a.m. I'm go I'm just gonna get up and head off to bed. Oh. Or eight p.m. Rather. I see it. So so you're just gonna get up and yeah. Where are you going? At eight p.m. I'm just gonna get up and go to my room. Like okay. a, like an hour after after dark. If nobody fucks with me in the three hour time period, I'm just gonna sit there and drink. Okay, so you go to sleep. your your room in the big apartment complexes. Yeah. Um, Kitty, Takai, do you guys want to do anything, or are you just gonna enjoy your night back from the from the mission? Um, I'm gonna, gonna go. Enjoy my night. I'm gonna go check on my little metal friend. Your that little I don't friend. have. I don't have a with me. Uh... Are you talking about your ward? Yeah. That okay. Uh, do you keep him on you, or do you keep him in the sanctuary? I keep him in the sanctuary. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, people's wards walk around with them all the time. Uh, they're basically allowed in everywhere unless they don't fit. So unless you have, like, an elephant of some kind, you could definitely bring it into the bar. How did we all get screwed not to get an elephant? Come on. Yeah, man. this is bullshit. I feel like this is DM hacks. I didn't <laughs> DM hacks, elephant. absolutely. We had to roll right, how many? Guys... 25 times to get one for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll just stay at the bar, kind of by myself, just drink a little bit. I'm not trying to get drunk at all, just a little bit of a buzz. All right, you're, uh, you're Drake, drinks some of whatever you're drinking. She kind of cool. just gets up and 
sips from it and then gets 